like I know you. you well, know. I get it, too. Yeah. Thank Isn't that you. Isn't sweet? Yeah. So the marriage is working out? Yes, yeah, so far it's going pretty good. Isn't that great? Uh, yes. Because uh -huh. you, you weren't young when you married. No, I wasn't. Nor was I. Yes. How old were you? I was 28. Uh-huh. Well, actually, I didn't think I'd ever get married. I just, uh, I didn't think it was for me, you know. I just, it seemed like something designed to stifle women. So I, I just waited. Even and though... I waited. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> and well, my you... mother waited. Yeah. Your mother, were your parents dying? <laughs> oh, my, I, I mean, they just, my father lit candles to St. Jude, patron of the hopeless cases, and my, <laughs> my uh, grandmother said novenas, you know. And uh, it's very, it's very hard on parents when women don't want to get married, when girls don't want to get married. When I was 20, they started nagging me. Yeah. And I don't know, all of a sudden, I just I went on this talk show, and there it yeah. was. How old were you when you finally got married? About? Uh, 13. No, 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 no. But isn't it funny, because I find the happiest marriages yeah. among my friends are women that married when they knew who they were. Right. That got married a little older, you know what I'm saying? And they'd done things that weren't just dependent on the man. Well, yeah, because then you don't think anybody can take away from you what's really you, and it makes you a better partner, I think. Did you have big romances before, though? Sure. Good. Okay. <laughs> With whom? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you were a big star. You were a star very young. Uh-huh. How old were you when you were on that girl? Uh, 26. God, and a major, major yeah, star. Yeah, it was exciting, yeah. But I'd already been working eight years then, you know. Those overnight sensations at 26 have already been working a long time. When you married Phil, yes. you were very successful and you had a big series. Obviously, there was money there. Yeah. Right. And he was very successful. No, I was, love you. No, wait, no, no, but Let's get right to it. Yes, well, did, did you have like a premarital agreement, prenuptial agreement about money and stuff no, like that? No, no, no. I mean, we had a prenuptial agreement that we love each other, you yeah. know, we try to work it out and everything. But we, no, no, I don't believe in that. That's kind of cynical for me. Yeah, me too. You know, I mean, if you're going to get married, then you should trust the fact that if it doesn't work out, God forbid, you'll be good to each other. Yeah. So that's the way I went into it. Yeah, it's the way I did too, but I was just curious, because so many women these days, they have contracts drawn, Yeah. You know, and they all no. feel that's part of liberation, which is so stupid, because there's nothing to do with... Well, no, I don't, I don't think that's right. I don't want to do that. No, good. Well, what about his children? Because they're, they're your age, aren't they? Well, not really. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> well, well, she had children when you married really, That's so sweet of you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they're 24 to 18, and four of them are boys. So, uh, I mean, it was, you know, it was quite a new thing for me. I mean, all my life I stayed away from having marriage and, and children. And when I told my mother I'd fallen in love with a man with five children, she said, oh, my God, what a joke on you. Yeah, you know, it's a, because it was funny. He had custody of all four boys. So it was like, well, we've traveled together. It's like traveling with the Rams. You know, they're all around me <laughs> carrying my bags. It's, it's fabulous. Did they listen to you? Were you able to become an authority figure? Yeah, well, that? they're all six, too. So I had to do, you know, I had to talk loud, but... But it's, um, it's interesting, and I've learned a lot. You know, I've learned a lot about men living with that many boys. Because uh, I used to think when I was growing up, you know, that boys knew everything, and, and girls were the ones that were nervous and scared of dates and, and waiting for the boy to call and all that. And I, seeing all these boys at different ages, I see how alike we are. Isn't that nice? Yeah, Isn't it that really nice? is true. Yeah, and that, well, where is the girl? With the mother? She lives with her, her mother, yeah. Is that difficult? I mean, well, to divide a family like that, it must be very... Well, I think it's very difficult for her because there are five children and four boys went with their dad and, uh, you know, and son, but she's a terrific kid. Yeah, she really is. And you're I'm, talking about the ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she's not bad either. Sure, we'll talk to her. Commercial. Oh, sure. Who got the jewelry? Hey, let's not talk. Let's talk. We'll be right back after this commercial message. So please, stay tuned. This thing. We are back. Thomas. Now, tell me about the movie, The Girl... Uh, the Lost the, Honor of Catherine Bay. The Bay. Lost Honor of Catherine Bay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it'll be on Tuesday night, and it's, it's a wonderful story because I, I play a woman who meets an irresistible man at a party, played by Chris Christopherson. Oh, yes. Yes, and, um, and, he, he, and, and, and she falls for him totally, and they go home together, and, and this love affair starts. And the next day when he leaves, the police break into her apartment, and we find out that he's wanted by the police. And she is really uh, harassed by the police and the press. And 
And there's a wonderful issue in the film because suspects have more rights than witnesses do. And they don't have to read her any Miranda decision or, or any of the things that say you, you, can ha you must have a lawyer with you or you can make a phone call or any of those kinds of things that suspects have. And, and she gets pretty well uh, steamrolled by these people. It's exciting. It's a love story and, a, and an action story. So. How is Chris Christopherson to work with? To oh, work? He's I'm crazy. Just, oh, he's heaven. Oh. He's wonderful. He's oh. a good actor and he's really present and he has you know, great magnetism, and the women were just hanging all over the fences and everything looking for him. Yeah, and, he's great. and you do love scenes with him? Yeah. Oh, and... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Aren't you... Th what? Oh. It's all in a day's work. You know? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Now, there he is, and he's, we both now say he's very attractive. Yes, he is. Right? Chris mm -hmm. Christopherson. Yeah. And now you have, that one, you have a love scene together. You know, isn't it... Do you enjoy it? <laughs> I'm just asking sure. about you. Yeah. I mean, I'm married. I'm not dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, he's... I think it's important to enjoy your work anyway. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, though, the, the, the funny thing is, as, as scared as you kind of are about it, it's kind of scary to do a love scene with someone that you don't know. It's, hello, you know, I'll have a mint, and, yes. then, and now let's do the love scene. It's really scary, and there are a lot of people around. I mean, there's a man hanging over you with a microphone, and, and there's somebody under here holding a little, a little card so you don't get the light in your face. And all, you know, there's so many people walking around, and when the love scene is over, somebody says, move that, move this, and it's not very romantic. Romantic, really. Oh, well, if you shut your eyes. Yes. <laughs> Is Phil get jealous? Did well, uh, he, when you come home and you say, I'm with Chris Christopherson and he's just fabulous, you know, uh -huh. and you're going a lot like that and <laughs> fixing yourself up in the morning. Is he a jealous person? Well, no, he, he, he said that it was the longest love scene in the history of movies. But I, I think uh, he handled it pretty well. He's kind of cocky. He knows I'm really crazy about him. What about you? Are you jealous? Sure. Good. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Do you get crazy? Because you met him on the show. Yes. On yeah. his show. Uh-huh. Right? Uh -huh. What happened? You, you came on as a guest. I came on as a guest, and, uh, oh, I mean, it was embarrassing. We flirted outrageously for a full hour. I mean, it was really funny. He started asking me questions like, oh, what kind of men do you date? You know? <laughs> Not exactly a question that most people get into. It was, I, there was definitely, a, you know, like a little chemistry right away. So do you ever worry maybe somebody else will come on the show? And the same thing would happen, you know. My God, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. No. Oh, I would immediately. It's... Oh, really? Oh, sure. No, I hadn't thought of that. Thanks, Joan. Yeah, well... <laughs> it's nice to talk to the girls. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need Raquel Welsh yeah, for? Right. Why don't you take Marjorie May? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But you're not jealous at all? No, no, I'm not jealous like that. No, no, no. I'm crazed. He's, al I'm crazy. He's allowed to do his show, just so he comes home right away. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? you? You know, you're so strong, you're, which is one of the reasons I like. Like, you, you know what your life is about, and you had a whole career before you got married. Did that turn men off? No. When you, when you were dating? No. I don't think so. Why? Have you talked to someone? <laughs> no, but that, well, this is say, your life. Here are all the men. That have, uh, no, I, uh, I don't think so. I mean, some men are. I mean, some, some men are really afraid. If they were afraid of their mommies, they're going to be afraid of you if, if you're strong. But I don't really like men like that. I mean, I like men who get a kick out of, out of my energy. And, and, you know, Phil gets a big kick out of the fact that I'm running my movie and, and out there trying to get it going and all that. And I get a kick out of him, you know. I, I think, uh, no, I, I, it's not sexy to me for a man to be scared. Yeah, I agree with you, yeah. but I still think if somebody said, you want to meet Marla Thomas and she's 26 and a millionaire <laughs> and has got her own show and she's a producer, right. a lot of guys go, oh, <laughs> you know, that's, it would be very intimidating. Yeah, well, I, yes, it could be. That's, yeah. What do you fight about? What do we fight about? Let's see. Yeah, ha how long are you married? Uh, three and a half years. We no, don't fight a whole lot. There's had to be one fight. Oh, sure. About what? Well, let's see. <laughs> well, um, I didn't like it when he put Phyllis Shafley on the show the, the week of the ERA vote in Illinois. But that was a learning experience for me because he said, if you don't understand why I have to put on Phyllis Shafley, then you don't understand you know, what I do, because, of course, he had to have on both sides of the issue. But we fight over dumb things, you know, like, no matter if you're liberated or not liberated, men all think of women in a certain way, you know, like, I was getting ready for this trip, and, and Phil came into my study where I was working, and obviously I was getting all ready to do my little tour and everything, obviously a woman at work, and he came into my study with that frenzied look that men get, and he said, where are my shoes? 
<laughs> so I said, where are my shoes? You know? I, I don't know what it is about men, but they think women have this radar attached to their... <laughs> kills me is that I know where they are. <laughs> I know where everything is. His shoes, my shoes, the five kids' shoes. And my parents and my mother did that to me. You know, mothers train us to see every little detail. And men kind of go through life just running the world. You know, and we know where all the shoes are. <laughs> Do you know about, uh, do you enjoy housekeeping? Because I really don't like it. No. No, some women no. do. We shouldn't say that. No. Some women really enjoy... Well, if you women. have another job, it's really hard to do. And one of the unfair things is that most women who work outside of the home end up working inside of the home, too. And it's just too hard, you know. We, on the weekend, we never have anybody that works in the house with us. And we, we you know, we get along pretty well. Phil does breakfast. I do great salads. He makes great steaks. I make great cheesecake, all the kinds of Italian foods. We get along, but I don't like cleaning up so much. That we have to re we really struggle over who washes the dishes and who makes the bed. Oh, you know, oh. you know I just better to stay in yeah, it the whole no, weekend. Well, but, you know, just... <laughs> I, I, my rule is, you know, last one out makes it. You know, oh. but the first the first little shed of light in the in the curtain, the two of us are jumping out of bed so that <laughs> nobody has to make it. Because I can't cook at all, and I had been hosting the Carson show. And I came home, I was making him dinner, and I said, am I crazy? <laughs> you know, I just hosted the show. Yeah. I can't do this. I, I like it kitchen. when it's a romantic thing. Yes. You know, little candlelight and tapes and dinner and all that stuff. Do you still do that with him? Oh, so yeah. Have lots oh, of little... yeah. Mm, yeah. I like to go dancing. Uh, yeah, I like that. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> you still surprise each other like Christmas and... Oh, sure. Edgar, are you listening to this? <laughs> Like gifts on the pillow and oh, all that. Well, I don't want to tell you everything. Oh, a couple of things. These people. <laughs> but really, so it's still very romantic. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. I'm embarrassed by this. You're so lucky. Do you realize how lucky you are? Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I thought about it a long time. I, I wanted somebody who'd be romantic. Yeah, I, I think that... That's a neat thing to oh, do. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. What about a lot of the, because you're so into liberation, I'm so into the cause, they say. And a lot of people take me to task because I was married. I was so glad when you got married. I was like, <laughs> it's okay. Did you get, no, because a lot of people said yes. they got totally confused yeah. about what we're working for. Did you get letters from people saying, we, how can you be? Well, the funny liberation? thing is, is that we kept very, very quiet about the wedding. We didn't want, you know, the National Enquirer to be at the house and all this. Because we got married at my parents' house. It was very quiet. Nobody was there. The florist thought it was a, a birthday party for one of the grandchildren of my parents. And somebody else thought it was a big uh, dinner for an ambassador. Nobody knew what it was. The caterer, nobody knew what it was. So anyway, we get on the plane to go to Greece on our honeymoon. And Phil had gone off to the bathroom. And I'm sitting in the plane. And I have on my, my wedding band. And this woman behind me said, oh, my gosh, is that a wedding band? And I went, yes, and the blushing bride, yes. <laughs> and she said, when did you get married? And I said, well, we just got married yesterday. And she said, oh, my God, I'm so disappointed. How could you get married? <laughs> exactly. You know, and I sat there like Charlie Brown. I thought, what have I done? You know, and it, it did shock a lot of people. But, you know, marriage is different now. It's not like when our parents got married. You know, it, marriage is sort of a, a new thing. You can design it yourself. It, I was afraid of marriage because it seemed like a little skinny place that, that was, had a total definition, just one definition. Now I realize that it can be a much roomier place, that you can define it for yourself. It doesn't have to be everybody else's marriage. But don't you think that's the way it could have was for a lot of people and nobody realized? Nobody it? knew, yeah. yeah. And there seemed to be so many rules about what it was to be a wife and a husband and those things. Now it's looser, so we feel we can design it ourselves can and I have two careers and all those things that didn't seem okay before. One last question, yeah, if I could. Yeah. They just play the thing. What color did you wear when you got married? Oh. Oh. I wore white. Okay, fine. <laughs>